Hello friends, hello Flight Simmers, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim and yeah, today we are back in the PMDG 737-800 flying Turkish Airlines um, out of Istanbul, of course, and um, we are checking out Geneva today a uh, new airport in my sim environment, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to test it and see how it is never flown to Geneva before, it's also one of those sceneries which for whatever reason I've never had in P3D as well, so that's gonna be entirely new to me. Looking forward to that, and um, yeah, look at this. We are back in the 737. I don't know why, but lately, after flying now the the new 777, of course, uh, a bit, and then I kind of felt, man, it's it's time to go back to the 737. And then we had the uh, 737 Max, the Twi fly on the channel lately, and now I've done a couple of flights. Uh, in, in, in this bird again in Microsoft Flight Sim and I must say it, it feels so nice. It feels so good how it handles on the on the yoke, like the the rotation on, on takeoff and also the flaring during landing. It's just ah it's a 737, it's like real flying compared to <laughs> compared to uh, those other fly by wire aircrafts. Right, so uh, yeah we're even running a bit of a special livery here. Uh, six thousands Boeing Next Generation 737. It's crazy how many they build of those. Such a reliable bird. Right, also we are on VETSIM. I felt like today it's it's time to go back on the network. I haven't done it in a while and um, there's no event or anything going on. So it's not very busy. We have a... Oh, Qatar 777 back there and uh, some other smaller bird over there. There was a... But I think he's gone already. There was a speed bird, A320 early on as well and yeah it seems like absolutely beautiful day here look at this there's not a single cloud cloud around that's very very cool right i would say where's our aircraft there it is um i would say without further ado let's uh, kick things off right so here we are we have uh, just hearing it right now we have the new gsx Hello. sounds going on in the background how do i How do I open this door? Wait, what? Is it not simulated in the PMG? No, I see your boarding pass, please. Ah, whatever. <laughs> okay, anyhow, apparently we can't look inside the cabin. Uh, it is what it is. Right, so um, of course I requested the sim brief flight plan. We are having calls on Turkish 8 Alpha Juliet today. Um. Flight time is going to be 2 hours and 40 minutes, I think it is. Yeah, 2 hours 44 minutes. Um, not terribly heavy. As you refer to 57.3. Um, ultimate is going to be Zurich. And block fuel just under 10 tons, so we can actually round up to 10 tons. Hello. So that's uh, fairly easy. Weather is going to be nice. Also for the arrival, I've checked that earlier on. So we're going to have pretty pretty nice flight today. Um, we are starting things here from Hello. Istanbul on the very south side of this terminal. Um, so down here we are. And then for some reason, like on in, in real world, they actually depart on runway uh, 35 left today. And they use intersection, I think it was uh, Bravo for Alpha Hello. for that. And what they do is they taxi out here. So we're going to taxi out on uh, Delta, then Bravo, and then eventually to Bravo for Alpha. And then we still have plenty of runway. And then we shall be off. And we are flying the Varden for Delta departure, which quite simply takes us out on heading 355 to Fox Mike 012. Maximum 240 knots, 1750 or above. That should be very easy. Uh, getting there in five miles and then there are no further constraints into Bulgarian airspace so that's the plan now let's go to the FMC pause in it let's get the GPS position it's just easier route um, request from sim brief like this right I think it should be oh no it's not set um, Payload is actually set 57.3. Okay, so it shifts around the weights a little bit, but stays the same. Uh, fuel is not set. We have 11.4, so now that's 10. Select route. 
Right, I always feel like this panel is a little bit dark without any background lighting. So let's make this a little bit nicer. Just like that. Okay, let's load the roots. Ah, okay, boarding is completed. This is going to be a very quick setup now. Uh, so that's a good thing. Right, here we are. So departure. 3, 5, left. Varden for Delta. Route. And for the arrival, they are currently using uh, 04. So ILS 04. And then we have... Wait, I've stored it over here, actually. The Banco 3 November. Coming from Indus. Right, activate. Performance in it. Request. Let's see what we get, but then we will make it uh, match our sim brief data. In the meantime, we can actually um, kick on the seat belts. We can also kick on the APU. Because I'm not sure, I don't think we have. Um, oh, yeah. Um, wait, air temperature, passenger cabin. We have about 41 degrees, 42 degrees inside the passenger cabin. That's nice. <laughs> that is brutally hot. It's 29 degrees outside, but of course, with the sun shining on the aircraft. So we should kick the APU on pretty quickly. Um, okay, let's see. Reserves uh, 2.5. That's great. Cost index 5 is also fine. We kick off at flight level 340 according to sim brief. Transition 12. That's the wind. That's looking good. Legs, root data, request wind. Oh, it's even creeping up a little bit now. Let's see how quickly this is dropping. Maybe we need to um, put them too high. It's going to be a relief for the passengers. Okay, load the wind data. Execute. Goody good. So, performance tool. 3, 5, left. Ah, now I need to do the manual work. I do need to do the manual work. Okay, let's see. We have... Um, airport. Um, do we have anything on here which is giving us distances? Right, from runway 35 left, we said it's going to be the Bravo 4 Alpha. So we have 11,624 feet or 3543 meters. Bravo 4 Alpha, I think that was the one we used, right? Bravo 4 Alpha, yes, there it is. So this needs to be changed to 11,624. Try flaps optimum. Optimum and has off weight import from aircraft import weather 05014. Ah, okay, a little bit of a breeze, but nothing crazy. Okay, flap fives rating takeoff section 51. Okay, I was ex I was even expecting more of a D rate. However, I Sometimes I feel like this tool is not brilliant. So let's see. We have N19381. That's ah, a tiny bit less, right? And it's creeping up. 
9300. Okay, let's go with that. That's fine. So take off 51. In it. Take off 51. Flip 5. With 142, 43, 47. 142. Right. Okay, looking at the black box airport data, we have 1330 for acceleration and same for thrust reduction. And we have an engine out acceleration of 1900. It's very simple. So for the engine failure, we just track on runway heading out to 25 nautic miles and then hold there. Very, very easy indeed. Um, right, so we have that. Transponder can come to 1000. Uh, let's see. Uh, many FMC, uh, sorry, FS Actions Crown Services. Um, oh, yeah, nice. Temperatures dropping, that's beautiful. Okay, let's complete some stuff up here. So that's good. This needs to be 340. Like that. Good stuff. Um, okay, where we're heading off 354, we climb out to. Um, it was on the charts. I think it was 5000 initial altitude. And speed is going to be a 147. Like that. Flight directors, auto thrust, VNAV. LNAV. Right. Oxygen is checked. Right. Pre flight checklist. Oxygen is tested. Uh, navigation transfer and display switches are normal and. Auto window heat is on. Pressurization mode selector is on auto. Uh, flight instruments heading 353, 353, altimeters 1019er, 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 that's checked. Parking brake is not set. It's set right now. Engine start levers are cut off. Righty. Um, let's remove everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> I I heard or I, I remember that we were on APU bleed and so I mistakenly thought that we are on APU power as well, which was not the case. Okay, do we have the doors closed? No, doors are not closed. FS action stores close and close. Now we should be looking good. Very good stuff. Okay, let's look around. Is there anyone who would actually care about our pushback? No, I don't think so. It's just us here on this part. So, prepare for pushback and departure. Nice. We are below 30 degrees now, which is good. Um, okay, continuing up here. A few pumps are coming on. This is all looking good. Um, Hello, four heats will come on later. Pushback. Hydraulic pumps. So I never remember with the... I think we leave the alpha off for the pushback, right? And uh, this is open, AP bleed is on, anti-collision lights come on as well. Before start checkers, flight deck door, close and locked, fuel pumps. We have 10 tons on board and the fuel pumps are on. Passenger suns are on as well, windows are locked, MCP is set to V2, 147, heading 354, altitude. 
actually want to dial 5000. Um, take off speeds 142, 143, 147. See the proof completed. Rudder and aileron trim 3 and 0. That is checked. Text and takeoff briefing completed and any collision lights are on. Looking good. Perfect. Right, we are pushing. That's a good thing. So, let's fire up those engines. Uh, packs are coming off even though it's still a little bit hot. Um, and then we kick things off with engine number... Two. Maybe I should even dial this down a little bit. Right, that's twenty five percent. Fuel is coming in. Starter cut out. Starting number one. Twenty five per cent fuel is coming in. Gear. Yeah, so on flight radar 24, I even saw that um, they often even fly larger planes to Geneva, often even the A330, um, A321s as well. Seems to be fairly, fairly good route for Turkish Airlines. The your damper needs to come on. They are removed, so we can kick on hydraulic A as well. Bro Pete can come on, start a cut out, very nice. So these two fellas come to continuous. Uh, then we kick on the generators. APU's coming off. Uh, pack spec to auto this coming auto, APU bleed off. Right, and now the temperature should drop a little bit further. Okay, RTO, flips 5. And trim, 4.78. So this should be fine. Master caution. Air condition. Zone temperature. I don't know what is uh, what is that supposed to tell us. I have no clue to be brutally honest with you. Maybe it's still too hot. Right, let's see, maybe it will disappear uh, when it gets a bit colder, I don't know. Um, right, before taxi checklist, generators are on, probe heat is uh, on, anti-ice is off, isolation valve is auto, engine starts which is continuous, a recall is checked apart from the um, zone temperature, auto brakes, RTO, engine start, so idle flight controls are not checked. Getting ahead of myself. Full left, full right, full up, full down, rudder, full left, full right, and ground equipment is clear. Right, taxi lights, parking brake off, and let's go.
Istanbul traffic, Turkish 8 Alpha Juliet is lining up and departing runway 35 left, Istanbul traffic. Right guys, uh, here we are, 8, uh, sorry, Bravo 4 Alpha, uh, that's the intersection, we just had the uh, Turkish 777 departing as well, uh, sorry, not the Turkish, the uh, Qatar 777 actually, uh, departing, and uh, so everything looks good, we had an A321 coming in. Um, I just noticed I haven't been on Unicom all the time, so I'm not sure if uh, anyone else has announced something on the arrival, but it seems like it's fairly fairly free, so there uh, should be no issue. So these guys are coming on, uh, runner internals not needed, it's so bright outside. So I feel like that would be an overkill. Those um, strokes are coming on, everything is looking good, we still got the zone temperature. Um, yeah. I will actually Google it during the flight, find out what it's all about, so I can learn something new. Right, before takeoff checklist, flaps are set to position 5, green lights, and stabilizer trim is 4.7 something units. So just where we need it. Right, guys, I am looking forward to that. It's not uh, loading. Um, well, that's because I pushed that one too far. Alright, auto thrust. Uh, let's take the flight time over here. Clock. And let's go. Let's go flying, guys. Okay, 40% stable. N1 and Toga. That's 80 yeah. knots. Ooh. Trying to stay on the center line. E1. Rotate. Rotate. Bit of a crosswind. Positive rate there we are, airborne. Gears coming up. Nice, very cool. I like. I really like. Right, so let's accelerate. Uh, what was the constraint? I think 240, right? Uh, yeah, 240 knots. Okay, flaps one, speed checked flaps one. Odd brake is coming off. We have the taxi lights coming off. Those are coming off. And flaps up, speed check flaps up. Really cool. So now let's uh, hand fly this turn. I think that's gonna be nice. Uh, we will keep climbing, of course. Let's do 10,000 for the turn so I can focus on the flying bit. We have an FFC message which I will check out in just a second. Now speeding up to 250 knots. Aircraft in trim. Right, and there we 
our command A. And after takeoff checklist, engine bleeds are on, packs are auto. Um, landing gear is up and off, and flaps are up, no lights. After takeoff checklist is completed. And let's keep on climbing, flight level 340. Nice, and this completes our departure. Departure out of Istanbul. That was nice. I am so much looking forward to a uh, hopefully nice 737 landing into Geneva. That's gonna be fun. Uh, catch you later, guys. Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, wow, what a fantastic stretch of flying here. Um, Alright, so an easy jet uh, turning towards final. And uh, yeah, wow, what a, what a beautiful day. It's perfect weather along the entire route and flying pretty much along the entire mountain range of the Alps um, on the southern side, so flying over Italy, coming in. Uh, over over Venice pretty much and then along the Alps and now just a few minutes back we were heading straight towards uh, Mont Blanc and then taking a right hand turn and uh, yeah we can still see the mountains here on the right hand side that is beautiful that is really Microsoft flights at its best holy cow and it was actually fun for me seeing Mont Blanc so close because I, don't know, I, I know it's there and it's sometimes even when flying somewhere over Europe I dial in the waypoint for Mont Blanc to see where it is but I've never been flying so close to it so that was crazy established ILS alright yeah so um, right uh, let's talk about our arrival then um, we are in fact just 10 miles from the airfield it is just down there very close uh, that's uh, the city of Geneva really beautifully uh, located here and um, yeah now we're swinging off to the left and uh, we fly a, a downwind sector you can also look at the approach chart uh, so the Banco arrival yeah so we've maintained the constraints now turning left um, out towards Golf Golf 502 maximum to 20 knots then we take a right hand turn to Indus that's not in the FMC this one is by uh, by ATC um, so that we might want to dial in in the legs page in just a second and then we just basically need to fly 180 degree right hand turn and align for the ILS runway 04 um, localizer and uh, so frequency and um, course is tuned already um, airport is at 1400 uh, which I've also selected here for the landing altitude so that is set it is a normal 3 degree ILS and uh, yeah, minimum is 1617. And in case of a uh, missed approach, initial climb clearance 7000. Climb straight ahead on radial 044 of the Geneva VOR, which is there. And then proceed to Sierra Papa Romeo VOR, maintaining 7000. So fairly uh, straight easy, uh, or fairly easy. Sorry, I need to. Make sure we go down there. 7,000. And um, yeah, so that's the plan. 
um, airport is fairly uh, fairly large, but the runway is fairly large. Uh, I was a little bit surprised to see that. So it's almost four kilometers, which is plenty. And then we will take Bravo, which is essentially the only really exit. Um, the only real exit which is um, practical for us. And uh, I guess we will make it there quite easy, so I've selected Autopic 2. And uh, this should get us down there without any trouble. Right, I am very, very much looking forward to the landing. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Right, and then since there is no other traffic around, what we will do, we will actually go in this after this one. Like that. Geneva traffic, top Swiss 82 November Juliet, final approach, one way zero four four miles. Right, so that is looking good. Um yeah we can now in fact also go to local to altimeters one zero two two, which is set right now. We will do a flap thirty landing. Uh one forty three plus five makes it one forty eight. Uh, weather is nothing spectacular really. Um, so we have wind 040 at 9. That's straight on the nose. A little bit variable winds, but that's going to be okay. Okay, okay. 28 degrees. Also nice and, uh, and warm here in Geneva today. Right, approach checklist is complete. Ultimates are set. So that's uh, really all we need to do. Uh, kind of. <laughs> we are straight on the. Um, or perfectly on the the profile on the VNF profile coming up to the decel point right now since we need to slow down to 220 knots yeah 220 knots Geneva traffic Turkish 8 Alpha Juliet is um, turning final for ILS 04 uh, 19 miles out Geneva traffic. Right guys, uh, let's go uh, flip one. Geneva traffic top six seven nine for echo localizers captured. Inner link here let's see, glide slope, yeah, just captures and we're slightly above and then let's actually go flip 5, now we need a bit of drag, uh, 7000 is set, yeah, I, yeah. I should have gone, uh, I, I should have selected flip 5 a bit earlier actually, uh, just noticing that right now. We should be fine. So speed brakes armed, uh, yeah we should be good, I think we have still a few miles to go, then we have time to decelerate, if not we can even throw out the gear, that's not going to be an issue. Uh, those guys are continuous, just checking if everything is looking good, it does. Heading 044 is set in the heading window as well. Yeah, seems like quite a bit of uh, traffic here in Geneva today. And I do remember this approach. Last time I've been here was actually in the uh, DC in the DC6, in the PMTG DC6. I did a bit of flying with this one as well. But it was um, Alpine 41 into the, Bravo uh, Kilo, service on the localizer 04 number two. Um, yeah, it was uh, actually the default airport back then. But look at this, it's all oh, beautiful scenery here. Right, let's focus on the flying. Ooh, this is getting exciting. Yeah, so radio altimeter, of course, going crazy flying over this mountain. Yeah, but we're slowly losing speed, that's perfect. That's all we need for now track required yeah I think we're gonna be fine uh, so 148 we said it's gonna be the 
find approach speed. It's really bright outside. Okay, let's go flap 10. Let's be checked, flaps 10. Let's go gear down. I want to lose uh, a bit more speed. Flaps 15. Thirty speed one forty eight is set. We will kick on the taxi lights as well. Landing checklist. Engine start switches are continued. Speed breakers arm. Landing gear is down. And flips at thirty green light. Landing checklist is completed. Geneva traffic Turkish eight Alpha Juliet is four miles out. Final approach ILS zero four Geneva traffic. Right guys. Let's. Oh, this is hard to catch. I remember this one. I don't have a push button for this one, so this will need to do like this. And there we are. One thousand. Let's do some flying. Yes. Okay, wind straight on the nose as expected. bit out of trim. And there we go. Okay, aircraft holding short of runway 04 it seems. That's good for us. Glide slope. Glide Checked. slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Yeah, disregard. I'm flying very much Light visual slope. at this point because light slope, light slope sometimes are light very slope. very off. Minimums. Continue. Yeah, so touchdown. Is it down here? Oh, that's crazy. Okay. 50, right. 40, 30, 20. We'll pull this a little bit early. Yeah. There we are. Reverse, reverse, normal, decel. Oh, that was actually a little bit more reverse than I intended. Geneva traffic, um, Alpine, uh, 41 Bravo Kilo, 4 miles, runway 04, number 2. Okay, manual braking, idle forward. Yeah, he's 4 miles out, so let's be quick in vacating. Geneva traffic, Turkish 8, Alpha Juliet, runway 04 is vacated. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay, flaps up. Let's turn right. Yeah, so that was kind of hard to read the undefined approach. Um, the touchdown markings were kind of hard to see. And I feel like the ILS, the glide slope was way off. Um, so I'm happy that I actually decided to go uh, full visual on this approach. And um, yeah, in fact, I think we touched down it a bit late. I was expecting the touchdown markings to come later, but um, I think it's fine. 
Uh, feels like the landing was uh, okay-ish. Not the very best one, but still okay-ish, so that's good. Flight time, 2.46, very good stuff. Lights are coming off, this is coming off. Steady, and uh, let's kick on the APU as well. Now the one thing I have not prepped is to actually check out where Turkish parks on this airport. Geneva traffic top 379 Victor Echo lining up. Oh, little jet here, very cool. But I think they, they have these very very cool stands out here in the center. But I think those are mostly for easy jet. But let's quickly find out. Traffic, uh, AC20, gate 43, taxiing to holding point Echo, runway 04 via link 3, inner link. So via link 3 and the inner. So pulling into stand number 15, yeah, so as expected, uh, seems like Turkish is not parking up on those fancy apron terminals. Instead, uh, they are parking up on this one. Can't read the numbers, so let's go by the signs. Right there. Cool. Parking brake. APU generators 1 and 2. Fuel cutoff. And seat belts, fuel pumps, we leave one on for the APU, hydraulics, probe heat, this comes open, APU bleed on, uh, beacons off, shutdown checklist, fuel pumps are off, probe heat is off, hydraulic panel is set, flaps are, parking brake is set, engine starters are cut off and weather radar is off as well. Traffic and this goes to stand by. Right. Hey guys, so here we are. Welcome to Geneva once again. This time from inside the terminal. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's it's a bit strange. I actually reloaded the sim um, because I do have double jetways over there, which I can't seem to fix uh, the usual way through GSX. Uh, seems like there's some issue going on there, which I need to investigate. But uh, yeah, we have made it to Geneva. What a cool airport to fly in. Um, a beautiful scenery all around today, uh, especially with this brilliant summer weather. And uh, yeah, that's cool. Also being back in the uh, 737, it flies so nice. It's it's sometimes it feels like the 737 is just in terms of actually feeling the aircraft hand flying it. It's it's of course better than many others out there, but it's a matter of taste. There's no no better or worse um, in any way between Airbus and Boeing and this kind of stuff. But um, that was fun, at least for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Feel free to leak, leave a like or a comment down below. And um, then we shall be back, probably, for some more 777 long hauling in the next week. So um, I am looking forward to that. Hope you guys are as well. And yeah, I will, uh, I will catch you on the next flight. So thanks for tuning in and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.